What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide, Coach Kane Womack, and what he said about him holding back the Alabama defense. Mainly, he ain't showed everything. Coach Kane Womack said in each of the three games, they carried more and more of the defense into the game. But once they seen they didn't have to use all of it, they chose not to use it. All right, that is a great thing. That is a great thing. Right now, Alabama is ranked third in the nation on uh, third down opponents' third down conversions. Okay, so we're getting these teams off the field on third down, even though we ain't played for three games. Now, I will say USF had a 19-play drive on us, and Wisconsin had a 13 or 14-play drive. But other than that, we was getting these teams off the field on third down. All right, so the defense is doing their job. All right. Um, also, Alabama, I think they are ranked uh, 13th nationally in scoring defense, I believe, and 6th in uh, pass defense. So, yeah, 13th nationally in scoring defense and 6th in, in, in uh, pass defense. But we got to get rid of better in run defense, all right? Right now, run defense, we're giving up 3.48 yards per carry. But that's better than last year because we were giving up 3.72 yards a carry. But 3.48 yards per carry. All right. That's 56 nationally and 12th in the SEC. That's bottom of the barrel in the SEC as far as run defense. Okay. We got to get better in the run defense. I don't know. Why are we giving up 3.48 yards per carry? I don't know if that's because Kane Womack is holding the defense back or because we got a lot of young guys playing playing defense. We have a lot of true freshmen that plays on the defensive side of the ball. Coach Kane Womack, uh, uh, Coach Kalen DeBoer, they ain't waiting for these guys to sit a year or two to put them in. They putting these guys in as true, fre true freshmen. So, hey, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. But I would love to see everything that this defense got. But, like you said, if you don't have to use it, don't use it. And I agree with that. Because guess what? Everybody else is looking. And you got a long damn schedule. So, hey, it is what it is, baby. We're going to get, I'm telling you. Oh, he also says, well, he didn't say it. This is the article I was looking on, Bama Hammer. The article says, you know, Coming into SEC play, our first SEC game against those Georgia Bulldogs next week, September 28th in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. All right. The article also says, if you can just show enough to beat the Georgia Bulldogs, that'll be great. And and because Tennessee is coming three weeks later. And Tennessee's offense is way better than the Georgia Bulldogs offense at this point in the season right now. That ain't coming from me. That's coming from the article on Bama Hammer. But I, I definitely agree with it. What I see from Georgia offense and what I see from Tennessee offense, Tennessee's, Tennessee's offense is miles ahead of Georgia's offense. I mean miles. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. Now, you might just say, uh, Mike Bobo is holding the damn Georgia offense back. He ain't showing everything. Well, I don't know if he's showing everything, but I know he holding them back. He holding them back. I can tell you that. So, hey, it is what it is. Uh, and Josh Heifel is letting everything go, seems to me. But, yeah, he, this article hit it on the head. Tennessee offense is is way better than Georgia's offense. So, yes, if we can just show enough on the defensive side of the ball to beat Georgia, and then when Tennessee come, we can throw some more stuff in there and hopefully stop Tennessee some kind of way. All right? But, hey, that's neither here nor there. But, uh, but yeah, it goes, yeah, Kane Womack says he's holding back the offense. How much, I mean, the defense. How much more of the defense he'll have to show against Georgia? I don't know. Do he have to show as much defense that he's been showing against Georgia? I don't know. All I know is Georgia is a 
freaking power four opponent. They haven't lost a regular season game in a thousand years, according to their damn fans. Uh, that's what I. That's that's true. But anyway, they haven't lost a regular season game in a long damn time. All right, they they are not a slouch, even though I don't think their offense is that great. They are no slouch. They didn't beat everybody that they done faced. I don't give a damn that it was one point against Kentucky or fucking 40 points against whoever. Object of the game is to win, and that's what those Georgia Bulldogs is doing. But one thing about it, they got to come to Tuscaloosa and face my Alabama Crimson Tide and Coach Kane, Womack, Nick Sheridan, I mean, uh, my, and face my Alabama Crimson Tide, uh, uh, Coach Kalen DeBoer, Coach Kane, Womack, and Coach Nick Sheridan. All right. With all my studs on the offensive side of the ball and my upcoming thug, thugs on the defensive side of the ball. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But Coach Kane Womack, he ain't showing y'all everything. You might see something. That you really don't see. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure they got formations. Two or three formations they can get in to do the same thing. It's just tricking the eyes of the quarterback. That's all it's doing. That's all it's doing. We just, we gonna do the same thing. We just gonna do it from a different formation. That's what it is. And you, and you might be in the same formation doing something totally different. That's all. My Alabama Crimson Tide, this defense, even though it's young in the secondary, our front four is wreaking havoc. We can get pressure on the quarterback. I don't give a damn who we play. We can get pressure on the quarterback. Tim Smith, Tim Keenan, uh, Justin E. Borgby, uh, Jamarian Latham, them edge rushers, Yonzi Pierre, freaking, freaking, uh, our linebackers, Jahad Campbell and Deontay Lawson and Justin Jefferson. We can get pressure, man. We can get pressure. And I'm telling y'all, LT Overton is a damn beast. He is a beast. LT Overton definitely going to be playing on Sunday, baby. You damn right. This this secondary going to come together. It's only been three games. I know uh, some, 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 uh, Wide receivers and they got behind our cornerbacks. But you got to understand, we got true freshmen on the damn field. Coach, that dang on uh, Kayla DeBoer, like I say, he ain't waiting to use these guys, man. He's putting them out there in the fire. And you know why? Depth, baby. Depth. He's going to need these guys throughout the daggone season. It's a long season. Remember, you got the regular season 12 game. If you make it to the conference championship 13 and then if you make it to the national championship that's four more games so you can have a six what is it, a 17 game season 16 game season that's long baby so he putting these guys in the fire already on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive ball true freshman true freshman man put them in the fire man let him get those damn reps. And he's put them in there, not in the fourth quarter, not the third quarter, not when the game is over. First quarter, baby, true freshman on the field, on both sides of the damn ball. And they doing their job for the most part. These true freshman defensive back, they got to learn. And guess what? They learning early. They learning early in their career. They ain't playing with these. They ain't playing. So, hey, it is what it is. I just wanted to bring that to you, that my Alabama Crimson Tide defensive coordinator ain't playing no games. He ain't showing y'all every damn thing. He all might, a lot of people already say that our defense, you know, the secondary is suspect. They already saying that. Well, Coach Kane Womack say he ain't showing you every damn thing anyway. If we can get away without showing shit, we ain't going to show it. And that's good. We can beat your ass with 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 half the damn scheme. How about, how about that? We can beat your ass with half the damn scheme. So, hey, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. My Alabama Chris Tide coming, and they coming strong. And I, I'm telling you right now, September 28th, you're going to see a whole different defense. You know, our defense already doing their damn thing, especially that damn front seven. 
They are already doing their thing. And I'm going to tell you now, man, y'all better listen. Oh, boy, the edge rusher that went down. Uh, damn, I keep I can't, I can't, keep forgetting his name. Quay Rashaw. He went down. He'll be back. He'll be back. He got a couple sacks on the damn season already. So, so we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right, Alabama fans. Don't y'all fret this defense, baby. It's coming. It's coming. You're going to see it. September 28th, baby. Tuscaloosa, Nick Saban Field against those George Bulldogs. And I'm going to tell you now, I, I, hey, I can make a prediction on that game right now. But I won't. But I won't. But anyway, we already know what's coming. Us Alabama fans all, already know what's coming. But uh, this, this swarm defense is what's coming. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all, y'all, uh, I want everybody to continue to doubt my Alabama Crystal Tide. You know, we already got some haters. We already got some them haters and naysayers and doubters and non believers. We already got them rethinking some shit <laughs> about what the fuck they said before the season started. We already got them rethinking. But, uh, you about to see. September 28th, and I told you, the whole college football world, well, they already been on notice already before we even get to September 28th. They already been on notice. They already worried. And I tell you what, they going to be in fear. I'm going to say about 11 o'clock, September 28th, 11 o'clock p.m., September 28th. It might even be before that. It might even be around 9 damn 30 when the game is already in hand. You see what I'm saying? When the game is already in hand and my Alabama Crystal Tide is whooping ass in Brian Denny Stadium. September 28th. But anyway, it is what it is. I just want to bring that little information to you about how Kane Womack is not showing everything on the defense. And uh, I'm sure Nick Sheridan... And uh, Coach Kaden DeBoer is not showing everything on the offense. But anyway, with that being said, hey, y'all be blessed. And old KB, he don't give a piss about nothing but the tide and roll. Damn tide.